as well as food services and security. The Fort Lee Police Department is serious about keeping school children safe from the dangers of drugs and alcohol abuse. With me now is Fort Lee Police Officer Gary Maletta to talk about the ambitious project about to get underway. Uh, and ambitious indeed, Officer, mm -hmm. because you have six different courses to drive home this message of safety for the kids. Let's save time. Tell us about the courses. Okay, the uh, courses and the basic program was developed by the Fort Lee Police Department in conjunction with the Fort Lee School Systems. Uh, we saw a void at the high school level during graduation and prom time, and these courses will focus to uh, attract attention away from using drugs, away from using any kind of alcohol while driving. Okay, Targeting courses such times. as? Uh, we have six different courses that will span a period of about a month and a half during these critical times. Uh, Hackensack Hospital is going to be participating in two of the courses, uh, and the Bergen County Sheriff's Department will also participate in two courses. The other two courses will be conducted by the Fort Lee Police Department as, long, uh, as well as other community members. Okay, talk in detail. The courses okay. are what? Well, the first course we're kicking off tomorrow. That's the Fort Lee uh, Police Department and the community. We're going to talk about peer pressure, self-awareness, responsibility, and the Fort Lee Police Department zero tolerance policies concerning drugs and alcohol. The week after that, the Bergen County Sheriff's Department comes out and they talk about the fatal vision glasses that they have. To simulate? Drunk driving. Drunk Each driving. kid will okay. wear the glasses and they'll all do a dexterity right. test. Uh, the week after that, we have Hackensack Hospital and Care Program coming out. Uh, the trauma nurses will talk about uh, past uh, victims that they've had at their hospital related to DWI. They'll also bring up a very important topic, and that is accidental alcohol poisoning, which is on the rise each year. These folks year. are on the front lines. They're going to share the experiences. That's, that's right. Now, you also have um, a way that you're going to really drive home the message right before prom time, mm -hmm. showing kids a drunk driving crash. You've that's got correct. got a car. We have a car that was involved in a DWI crash. That car will be parked out in front of the high school for several weeks as a constant and daily reminder as what could happen to you if you make the wrong decision and you make the wrong choice. I guess the idea being you can lecture and lecture and lecture, but if you show them the results. Well, the course is based on repetition, reinforcement, community involvement, and student participation. And through all of these elements during this time, I think we're going to get our point across. Uh, the one important thing I wanted to bring up is that the program wouldn't have worked unless we had the full cooperation of our police chief, Thomas DeSaro, and of course the superintendent of schools, Dr. Sugarman. And the Bergen County Sheriff's Office uh, Department as well. Talk about That's the mock correct. trial and re reenactment, well, really we dramatic. Well, we have a courtroom reenactment scheduled in June. That's a reenactment that was uh, formulated by our local judge, our local school board attorney, as well as the police department. The students will actually get a chance to participate in this program. And I think we can drive home the point as to their responsibility when they're gonna go out and uh, fool around with drugs and alcohol. In a sense, you're going to take them right through what can happen to the very end, show, and even showing them, look, you can have a crash, you could die. If not, if you kill someone else, you're going to end up in court. You're going to be showing them from start to finish what the end result could be. Exactly, and uh, one other important course that I'd like to finish up mm -hmm. with, uh, when Hackensack comes out with the trauma team, you have a surgeon that is going to talk about a DWI victim that he had had several years ago, and that victim will actually address Portly High School. Testimony from a victim. That's correct. Thank you very much, Gary Maletta. We're going to be following these stories and covering some of them for Channel 10. Thanks Thank you, for joining Joanne. us. Well, still to come as the news continues tonight, Brian D. Novellis will have our sports report and will join Chef Sam in the Holly Rock Kitchen for this week's recipe.